Father, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, for our doctors, let's give it all honor and all glory and all praise to do to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Okakadash, Dabah, Square, Nestum, Edda, Apostle, the Teacher, and Will. Peace, salutations to those who elect to scatter abroad across the four winds of this planet. As adoring all things, the soldiers of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, and the Shalom to the sincere Akim. That's out there pushing this word across the four winds of this planet. Also, enduring all things, the soldiers of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, and the Shalom to the Sirach Wathim. That's out there arresting their husbands, being a pillar of rest, keep doing so to those they may be. Yahweh, as it being the Heavenly Father, which the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai, as it being the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And the Rakakadash, as it being the Holy Spirit. Okay. This lesson is entitled basically how to deal with like you know ignorance or ignorant people you know unbelievers and stuff like that you know because for those that's new to the faith and stuff like that you got to understand like uh when you conducting yourself amongst these people man you know don't be trying to you know over exert yourself you know trying to you know do too much okay because at the end of the day, like the scriptures say, if any man want to be ignorant, let them be ignorant, okay? Because at the end of the day, if they don't accept it, they keep it pushing, man, okay? Because the Lord told us this. Let's get the book. Uh, Matthew. This is Matthew chapter 10 and verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Right? So, you got to be literally in that mind frame. frame because what is the, the qualities of a serpent? You know, a serpent on the right hand side. The serpent is, is subtile. You know, it tries to uh, maneuver its way out of situations. You know, it avoids, you know, but also it's a dangerous animal at the same time. Okay, but at the same time, you got to be wise as a serpent, okay? All right, be not hasty because when you see a serpent in the wilderness, what does it be doing? It just be patient, you know? If it's not worth it, they don't go after it, okay? And harmless as doves, and when you see doves, man, you know, do you see doves attacking anybody? No, you know, but this not saying, you know, not to defend yourself in any case, but at the same time, when you dealing with amongst ignorant people, you know, you have to be in the mind frame of, like, it ain't even worth it, you know, just keep pushing, man, okay, because when, you know, brothers out there on the highways and byways, hey, maybe we don't even talk to nobody, but hey, we should still prophesy to the wind, but also, you know, saying somebody ignorant does come up, and we trying to avoid all confrontational as need be, but at the same time, if we have to defend ourselves, we most definitely will, okay, but at the same time, what this basically is telling you is, like, how to deal with ignorance in ignorant people, okay? Because the scripture goes into what an ignorant person is, because an ignorant person is like a fool, you know, because they are arrogant, don't want to listen, proud, okay? So, the thing is, you got to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves when you operate and conducting yourself amongst unbelievers, okay? Because, you know, your family, you know, your friends... You know, some some households, you know, unbelieving wife, you know, unbelieving husband. You know, you got to conduct yourself as wise. Wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Okay? So the first precept I'm going to get is we're going to be heavy in the book of Proverbs. But Lord willing, this is edifying to those that may watch. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, and verse 7. It says, Go from the presence of a foolish man when thou perceivest, when thou perceive, perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. Now, let's read this in a different version. It says, Go from the presence of the foolish, like, presence of a foolish and self confident man, for you would not find knowledge on his lips, right? Because, hey, they not, they don't have this truth like we do, man. Okay, so that'd be a kind of a wasteful uh, moment to do so because they don't have this truth, nor do they have this knowledge. So, therefore, when you're trying to speak unto a foolish or ignorant person, Hey, what's they they gonna be trying to they gonna be rebelling against you, man. Okay? 
tell you, I don't want to hear nothing about that Bible shit. You know, I don't care what you're saying about that, man. I'm going to continue to do me. You know, they don't have no knowledge upon their lips, man. Okay? Nor is their mind set it, set it upon you. How about you, shine? Okay? All right? Because in verse 8, it says, The wisdom of the prudent is to understand his way, but the folly, but the folly of fools is deceit. Okay? Let's read this. It says, the wisdom of the sens wisdom of the sis sensible is to understand his way, but the foolishness of short-sighted fools, fools is deceit. Okay? So, hey, man. <clears throat> we understand their ways, man. Okay? But, hey, to a fool, okay, we, we, we got to be wise, man. Okay? We got to understand what these people are doing, man, and how to handle them, man. Because the best case to do is walk away from, them, okay. Because if you keep on arguing with a fool, you become like an unlike a tool. You keep arguing with an ignorant person, you become like a tool. Okay, you want to avoid all that, man. Okay, if they not finna uh get down with this truth and agree, then hey, to hell with them, man. Okay. Um, let's get the book of Proverbs, chapter twenty two, and verse three. This is uh. Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 3, and it says, A prudent man foreseeth the evil and the height of himself, but the simple the simple pass on and are punished. Right? So, A, hey, the wise, that's what the word prudent means. You know, let me look it up. Prudent. It says, Acting with, the, with showing care and thought for the future. Okay. It says, wise, judicious, sagacious, sage, shrewd, advisable, well-advised, okay? So, the whole point, wise, okay, is what it means to be wise. Uh, res uh, having or showing experience, knowledge, and good judgment, right? So, a prudent person is wise, okay? And we see, we see the future, okay? We foresee the evil to come, okay? And hide it himself. Okay, but the simple pass on are punished, right? An ignorant and foolish person, hey, they ain't worried about the uh, future. They, they ain't worried about the evil to come upon this place, okay? They worry about trying to live it up and make it make it in and out, okay? But they ain't worried about the salvation, okay? So that's why, man, when you handle these ignorant people, just know this, okay? The simple go are going to be punished at the end of the day. The ignorant are going to be punished. To be ignorant is arrogant, man. Okay? All right? Let's get to Pro Proverbs chapter 19 in verse um, 2. And it says, Also, that the soul be without knowledge is not good, and he that hasteth with his feet sinneth. Let me make sure that was the right one. Okay. All right? As we read that, it says also that the soul be without knowledge is not good, and he that hasted with his feet sinneth. Right. So, hey, these fools and these ignorant people, man, they don't have no knowledge, man. Okay. So, hey, what they go and do as you try to get on them and they don't take heed to it, hey, they go and go off and to do more sin, man. Okay. And you lead them to that. Okay. Don't be trying to, you know, you know, you can't have your emotions behind it either, man. Okay. You got to be in the mind frame of a soldier. If they don't get it, they don't get it. Keep it pushing, man. Because mm -hmm. ultimately, they are spiritually discerned, okay? Do not waste your time with an ignorant or uh, rebellious and shit talker, man, okay? Because they ladder in its destruction, man, okay? Okay. Uh, I think this is a good one, verse 3. And it says, the foolishness of a man... Foolishness of a man perverted his way, and his heart is fretted against Yahweh. This is look up what that word fretted means. It says, <clears throat> "The foolishness of a man undermines his way, ruining whatever he undertakes. Then his heart is resentful and rages against the Lord. For being a fool, he blames the Lord instead of himself." Right. So, you know, they talk shit to the Lord while they in situations, you know. That's a fool and an ignorant person, okay? 
that's what they uh, do instead of acknowledging their wrong ways, acknowledging their wrong, okay? But at the same time, we got to be, we got to understand that hey, they not in the same mind frame that we are in, okay? Because at the end of the day, we going to keep pushing this word, okay? Whether they understand or they don't, okay? Because at the end of the day, we only here for the who? The elect, man. To only the, the preach the word unto the elect, okay? To hell with these people that uh, claim, and especially you got ignorant people. You got ignorant, um, you got ignorant Israelites in the truth, man, okay? And we we rebuke them, we give them, we 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 tell them where they going off at, and they they still being ignorant. But hey, guess what? We gotta continue to push, push this word, man. Okay. Now that's it on that. Uh let's get the book of Proverbs, chapter eight, and verse five. And the reason it says, O ye simple, understand it, understand wisdom, and ye fools be up. Be ye of an understanding heart. Right. So, who is the simple? You know, the ignorant and foolish. Okay. The arrogant. Okay. And the Lord really cries, uh, the, the wisdom cried in the street, man. How does wisdom cry in the street? Be as brothers on the highways and byways pushing this word. Okay. In season and out of season. Okay. What do, what do two-thirds of our people do? Okay. What do they do? Hey, they do. They regard. They regard it, man. Okay, they delight not in the Lord's word, but that's why their latter end is dest is destruction. Okay, now let's get Proverbs one, cause like I said, we heavy in the book of Proverbs. Okay, um, uh, where is it? I get verse twenty and go to um twenty nine. It says, <clears throat> Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief places of concourse, in the openness of the gates. Right. The brothers that's out there on the highways and byways, man. Okay, preaching this word, man. Okay, that's how wisdom is cried in the streets. Okay, in the chief places of concourse. You know, the brothers in the cities with it, man. Teaching this word. Okay. she In the city, she uttereth her words, saying, how long ye simple ones would you love simplicity? Right. How long you ignorant? Let's look at this word. Let's see what this word is simple. Simplicity. Okay. The quality or condition of, of being easy to understand or do. The quality or condition to be plain or natural. Okay. And basically, simplicity is basically, you know, you just, um, you don't really care, you know. All right. And it says, simplicity, how long ye simple ones would ye love simplicity? And the scorn is delight in their scorning, right? The ignorant people, you know, delight in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge. Because ultimately, you got to think about this. They really hate knowledge, to be honest, man. Okay, that's why they scoff, they mock, and they laugh. Because they really hate knowledge, man. Okay? And it says, it's lucky. Turn you at my reproof, behold, I will pour my spirit unto you, and I will make known my words unto you, because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have set at naught all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. Okay. So hey, the foolish, the ignorant, hey, they don't have the Lord in their in their mindset, man. Okay, they won't don't have the fear of the Lord. Okay. And it says <clears throat> I will also laugh, will laugh at your calamity when when I will mock when your fear cometh, right? So when your fear cometh and your desolation come, hey, it's going to, hey, the Lord going to laugh at you because you chose not what? The fear of the Lord, okay? When your fear, when your fear cometh as a desolation, your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. 
they shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Okay? For they for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh, right? So that's why, you know, remember, these scriptures tell us how to handle these fools and handle the ignorant, okay? Basically, the whole point is, like, man, look, if they are given, if they are being ignorant and you try to reach, you get them, you try them three times, then at that point, hey, keep it pushing, man, because, hey, we went here to win souls and not uh, argue, man. Okay, we up here trying to preach this word unto the elect. Okay, to 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 wake up. Okay, not unto a foolish, arrogant person. Okay, all right. Now let's get one precept and we sign them off. Let's get the book of uh, First Corinthians, chapter fourteen, and verse thirty-eight. And the reason it says, where is that? All right, this is. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 38. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Okay? Point blank, period, man. If any man be ignorant, let him remain to be ignorant. Okay? You don't got time to be trying to argue and try to, you know, get them to understand, man. We, we up here trying to win souls, man. Okay? We up here teaching them to the left, okay? They not going to understand this truth like we are, man. Okay? So at the end of the day, it's third loss you're, at the end of the day because ultimately what you are doing, you're trying to get the blood off your hands, man. Ultimately, that's all you're doing, okay? That's all you're doing, all right? Because at the end of the day, when you teach them, when you teaching this word, you warning them and stuff like that, let's go to this. We're going to get this last one, okay? Ezekiel 3 and verse uh, 22 through 24. Verse uh, 19, okay? And it says, Yeah, if thou warn the wicked, it's like it. Yeah, if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul, okay? And all you're doing, man, is watching the blood off your hands, okay? Because at the end of the day, we supposed to be warning our people, okay? We supposed to be uh, making these videos and, you know, rebuking our people and the wickedness because, hey, we trying to get the blood off our hands, man, because if we don't, verse 18, and it says, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou give him, givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his way, wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man should die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand, okay, so if we don't warn them, hey, at the end of the day, we the Lord gonna require their blood and our blood because we didn't warn them, okay? All right. So hey, at the end of the day, man, if any man be ignorant, be ignorant. All you doing is getting the blood off your hand and you keep it pushing, man. We only here for the elect anyway. Okay, so I pray and hope this lesson is edifying. Just a little short short little lesson on how to handle ignorant people, okay? And I apply this to myself too. Okay. You got somebody yelling at you and stuff like that, man. Hey, be wise as a serpent harmless as a dove. You ain't got to get at that level with them because if you get at that level with them, they won, okay? What you got to do is keep it pushing, man, okay? But till next time, to next video, Shalom, giving all honor and all glory and all praise to do to Yahweh by Hashem and Yahweh Shai by Hashem and Krakadash. Till next time, to next video, Shalom, Kwame Shavala, Bada Ba.